Hey, what's up everyone? It's time for another episode of Minivan Life here in the Rocky Mountains. And we already got our first snowstorm here. Last year I had to wait all the way until January to get one. But I'm staying nice and warm in here and the diesel heater's been working good. So with the way the temperature is right now, as high as 10 degrees Celsius during the day and negative 10 at night, I'm finding that I use the diesel heater at most two hours a day and I only run it on the highest setting. I've read online it's not good to run it on the lower setting because uh, it'll clog up with soot. But on the high setting I normally only run it for half an hour to an hour and that's enough to heat it up in here then I shut it back off. And it takes about three hours to go through a liter of fuel so that adds up to about 80 cents Canadian per day. But as the temperature keeps getting colder and uh, I'm using the heater more often I'll be keeping better track of that. So when I was living in Ontario I felt like stealth was an important thing to have. I was pretty much the only van dweller in the city and I wanted to be able to blend in. But now that I'm out west there's so many van dwellers out here and nobody's trying to hide it. So it's been fairly easy to find parking but uh, there's still rules you gotta follow. If you take advantage of something that's when you lose it. So I've been trying to do a lot of summit hikes lately and I'm going to keep going with that as long as I can until the snow gets too deep and the avalanche risk becomes too high and after that I'll probably have to hunker down for the winter and look for a job. But I've tried for six different summits and three of them were failures so far. One was just poor weather, the other I needed to have snowshoes and the last one uh, was just no planning on my part. I didn't realize that I had to down climb on this cliff and it was all covered in ice. It was just way too risky. But with my failed attempt on Mount Bogart, I did get some good video footage. So let's take a look at that first. So according to the GPS track, I got a scramble up there. Right now the summit is under the clouds. Got one of the local residents here watching over the place. Look what I found up here. Black diamond. Alpine carbon. Which of this thing's expensive? Good find. The summit cleared off there for a second and it looks like a pretty good hike. It's way up there, but uh, today doesn't look like it's going to be a summit day for me. I'm not going up there if I can't see my hand in front of my face. So that was a story on my failed attempt up Mount Bogart. I should have picked uh, one of the mountains that didn't have cloud cover. That was my mistake. But let's get into the successful ones now. This first footage is my scramble up the south peak of Mount Kidd. Looks like today would have been a good day to summit Mount Bogart. I wish I had a wingsuit. Maybe I could make one. Just go buy some tarp and sew it together. What could go wrong? So that one was a straightforward scramble up the scree. Pretty easy overall. The next one on Gap Mountain was a little trickier to find the route, but uh, an enjoyable hike.
keeps coming back. And my third successful summit was on Cougar Peak. Today I'm headed for the summit of Cougar Peak. It is the one on the right there. I've got to walk around to the other side of it to reach the scrambling route. And it's about 9 kilometers one way. I gotta say, now that I have a hiking pole, I really like it. But I did put it in the classifieds to see if someone would claim it. Because it is expensive. It's about 100 bucks Canadian for one of these. And I'm sure somebody misses it. But I've lost a bunch of stuff out on the trail too. Mostly sunglasses. <laughs> and I, I refuse to buy a pair that costs more than 20 bucks now. Because it's inevitable that I'm going to lose them. I lost a pair somewhere in my minivan. I've turned the place upside down. <laughs> I just can't find the stupid things. This is the spot where I leave the drainage behind and I gotta start hiking up here to begin my scramble up Cougar Peak. I just gotta scramble straight up there now. I tried to pick something straightforward with all this snow cover. Anything that involves climbing might not be possible right now. I should probably get a mountaineering axe eventually. So in my last minivan video I showed some fossils up on top of Mount Bishop. Those are called horn coral. Basically a long time ago all this land was under an ocean. And uh, the plates, one went under the other and just shoved all this land upwards. You can see how the rock is bent. But yeah, if you look closely, you can find all kinds of uh, fossils up here. <laughs> oh no. I've just been clawing away at this slope. I can't get up it, it's too slick. But I do have a trick up my sleeve. Crampons. That was another straightforward scramble, but breaking a trail uphill in the snow was the hardest thing I've done yet. But uh, going downhill was probably the easiest. Maybe I can rent some uh, downhill skis though and do some Warren Miller style skiing. But that's all the footage I have to share for now. So uh, thanks for watching and thanks for your support. And I'll see you in the next video. I am actually cooking with induction today. I'm having Mr. Noodles. Spicy chicken with uh, some sugar snap peas and carrots and uh, sausage.